All right, tier list part two. This is mostly tier two and maybe tier three. I don't know how long I want to make it. Anyways, Jarvan, he's my placeholder for any, you know, for standardization of the jungle. Pretty much above average in a lot of aspects, sustainability issues, and really strong ganking, especially once he gets to level six. Otherwise, top of tier two for that very reason. He's probably going to end up lower on the tier two part of the tier list. Pantheon. Now, his speed is pretty bad. It's just everything, but his ganking is god mode. But his ganking is god mode, especially once it hits level 6 with a semi-global ult that gets him to the where he needs to kill him. So, since ganking has to be more precise, more strong, and you just gotta get the kill kind of deal right now, Pantheon's got the tools to do that. His level 2 gank is amongst one of the strongest right now, especially with Red being procced by his Q. So, he's gonna be lower on the tier 2 list as of now, but he's really strong at ganking and that's where you abuse it from him. Alright, like Lee Sin and Pantheon, Riven can do some strong level, uh, like early level ganks. Though, like Pantheon, she suffers a lot more, a lot, if she fails. And, you know, ganking is never, you know, a surefire thing. And unlike Pantheon, hers is weaker. It's, a lot, it's not targeted, I mean, she's got her dashes and her stun, but, you know, it's not as precise. And she needs to stay uh, like equal or ahead in order to do anything, or she'll just die in every team fight. So the whole fact that it's a lot riskier and it costs her a lot more keeps her from being tier one. Xin Zhao is in a weird place. His speed is pretty average. His ganking is amazing, but he snowballs negatively. I guess it's just how badly he was nerfed. It's that he starts off well enough and he can gank brutally enough, but he slows down. It's like he just kind of starts going spiraling negatively. It's like. Something is wrong with the, you know how he levels up that he actually gets weaker as it goes on unless he got fed But that's because items are making up for how broke or broken his legs are like It's it feels bad actually. He's my favorite champion It feels really bad that he feels that you're doing something right and then it quickly just starts feeling wrong So it's it's not I, I can't blame Jin Zhao for like being weak because he broke his legs on purpose and but that has, that's keeping him from actually being a great jungle at all. Like, he's got good points, just those points don't last very long. Alright, so Shivana still has the same weakness as before. She can't gank worth a damn. And that's enough to keep her from being tier 1. Because without being able to gank or apply pressure on the lanes, then you're kind of just useless. I mean, she's really strong at farming and really strong at invading. So that's what she kind of focuses on, but, it's not, but that alone keeps her away from being tier 1, but keeps her in tier 2. She can't pressure the lanes, but she can pressure the enemy jungler, and she can kick their ass really hard, especially if he jumps them. They have a hard time escaping from her, and she has, you know, multiple builds and just, like pass and all that good stuff. So, it's not to say she's short and all that other crap, it's just her ganking is what keeps her from being tier 1. Still the same really fast jungler, really awesome. The hotfix, you know, fixed fixed the fact that they gimped her speed. Her speed is back up to being one of the best. So, really strong jungler just can't gank and focus on counter jungling or stealing and farming. And she, you'll, you'll have fun with Shivana. Now, talk about a complete reversal of jungle placement. Renekton still has some issues with the whole fact that he is not utterly sustained and he still kind of requires a, 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 a jungle build. And his ganking can really suck in certain matchups. Like, I mean, really, really suck in some matchups. But he got a lot better. Like, a lot, lot better. The new jungle is pretty much, you know, dies nearly instantly. So they don't have the time to deal damage to Renekton, who for some reason seemed to get his ass kicked by the old jungle. Even with cloth armor and jungle build. So now it opened up, you know, more, more, you know, starting paths, more starting options, and all that good stuff. Uh, he kills the jungle before it actually deals damage to him, and he can heal off most of the damage they deal to him anyways, with his Q at least. So, uh, yeah, he just, like, all those weaknesses he had, all those minute weaknesses that piled up together, they kind of either gone or they're still there, but, you know, since there's not a, like an assortment of them, it doesn't matter much. So, he's pretty strong in the new jungle, like, but, you know, transition-wise, you still kind of want him to have a lot, all the farm from the lane, so... Probably not the best choice for a jungle pick, but in terms of jungling, he got a lot stronger. Just as much as I can say. His sustain is good, his damage is great, the fact that he can triple proc anything, like the Madrid is really awesome. 
he he can make make sure work of the camp, especially because of you know his Q and W. That is a lot of damage right there. Try him out. It's like, it's, don't use him in a real rank competitive scene, but you, like he, you can't really go wrong with this type of pick yet. I mean, yeah, you can if you fight like Skarner. So Trindamir has incredible damage, and like obscene amount of damage can take almost any rune build he wants though attack speed tends to be the best rune build for him he's got good sustain though sustain using that sustain kind of slows him down so that's one you know negative point for him rng heavy that's already a big massive hit to him i hate relying on rng to jungle not as bad as for master yi because master yi can just you know doesn't rely on it trinomir cat still does rely on it he can be really fast or really slow, or he can die. Even in the new jungle. It's like, so. Kind of sucks for Trindomir. His ganking is hit or miss. You know, it can go really well. You know, you can get close to them and eviscerate them and they slow down because they turn their backs on them. Or it does nothing and you just kind of waste your time. And you're Trindomir. You need to farm. So, Trindomir is tier 2 for that very reason. Strong ganking, I mean, strong ganking if it works. Fast time, if you get lucky. Sustained, if you get lucky. Uh, like, you know, high damage, pending you don't waste your, waste it for sustain. A lot of, you know, checks and, well, not checks and balance. A lot of, you know, what ifs. He's, otherwise, new jungle kind of just melts to him. But RNG and that all the other stuff. So, Olaf is like a little weaker version of Trindomir. La, at least Trindomir relies on RNG. Olaf relies on the fact, like, on a, just being hurt to take advantage of his awesome abilities that, you know, rely on him being hurt. But he can't really get to that point because the jungle's weak as balls and, you know, he, they, he actually heals him because with those little health runes. So, it's kind of like Trindomir has no choice whether he takes out his RNG. Olaf just isn't going to get a choice in the matter. So, it's... He can be fast, but you got to somehow force damage onto him in order to make his speed god mode. Because he has the potential right now in this new jungle to be the fastest in the game. But you have to unlock it without dying, if you get what I mean. So, usually in those cases, Vampiric Scepter, no armor runes, just get yourself hurt. You may, if you want to get a leash, you don't get a leash by, you know, the having them hit it and you finishing it off. You have, you know, you tank the thing and they hit it. You want to be low health in order to, you uh, obtain that speed. However, doing so just makes you a vulnerable target. And we all know, oh, like, oh, I mean, sure, Olaf's had that crap before, but now, it, but now when you know dying once in the jungle sets you back a lot slows you down and Olaf's inability to gank anyway is, is I mean inability to gank still exists it's kind of one of those things where I just don't know what to make heads or tails of like he has he can be very strong but it's probably like and really fast but is it really a smart thing to do alrighty then and here comes Wukong so he got a lot better like better 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 like he's got an AS Attack speed steroid that really helps out, especially that little 5% buff they gave it. Yeah, it really big. Mattered. So, damage. He's got it. A lot of damage in the jungle. Tears it apart. Biggest issue, though, it's actually a glaring issue if you've jungled with him. It's a sustain. Even with potions, he kind of just starts dying. I mean, solo jungling at least. Give him, give him a leash. Give him some help. You guys got to clear like nothing. So, yeah, sustain is his problem. Goes off the gank and gets hurt in the process. He might not be able to continue jungling. His sustain is pretty poor, and he might run through his mana really quickly if you spam his abilities, which you kind of have to. So, his biggest downfall right now is his sustain. Otherwise, he's a badass. Uh, he could actually end up being higher, but but his two issues is sustain and his ganking. His ganking, he put, outputs a lot of damage, but he doesn't con uh, output any control until level 6. And then he kind of has just a lot of damage. Like, a lot of damage, knock up. He might be dead within the process. Probably get off two E's and two Q's. Yeah. He, when he hits level 6, that's strong ganking right there. So, Wukong, keeping an eye on him, he could be a lot better than him giving him credit initially right now. 
just you know letting the dust settle and I'm gonna try him out a little bit more. He's he, like he's a really fun champion. Like he's he's a Zinzao that hasn't had his legs broken yet. All right. So Soraka, yeah, tier two. Why really fast jungle? Like one of the fastest junglers in the game. Star call. That's really overpowered. Surprise heals. Coming from jungle. And then E. Like a proc lizard. Holy crap. Yeah, I know. She's probably a joke. She'll probably be lowered eventually. Just, it's kind of funny. I just wanted to stand out so people can pay attention to just Soraka being, like, good. I mean, you'll never pick her as jungle. But she's, in terms of jungling, really kind of cool. I mean, I would pick Karma over her if I, if I was being serious about a jungle support and Nunu was somehow not available. But, yeah. Try her out. She's really fast. She... She beats Trondo in terms of speed without assistance. And probably with assistance, she'll tear the jungle to pieces too. Like, even better than Trondo. Like, I'm still confused about it. Her sustain is enormous because of the build to sustain. And, you know, obviously can transition better than everybody else because she's support. And doesn't require as much farm or levels or any of that stuff. So if you put us a support that actually gets farm, you know you can feel the effect of the you, know, you can feel them get stronger. So it could be used in some very, very, very specific occasions. But like just in terms of juggling, it's not bad. Like I don't see any weakness besides the lackluster ganking. But a silence can shouldn't be underestimated either. And it can and it can proc lizard for some reason. So just there, it's, it's she's there. She'll probably get lower, lower to tier three, but it's just kind of fun to realize that she, she became pretty cool. I'll, I'll use her. I'll definitely use her just for fun. All right, so Volley Bear stands in the border between tier three and tier two, and he might be going to tier three. Seemingly, for some reason, he feels wonky as shit. It's like his ganking is like Singe and Udyr combined. You know, a gap closer boost of speed, and then fling, flinging a mech. However, it's it's not as good as either of them. Singed is, you know, walk up, click, and throw. His is charge up, run, 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 then throw behind you. So, and then look at Udyr. Udyr's is like multiple casts, like bra, bra, roar, kind of just march to them and then slap them in the face. So, like, uh, what's his face? Bolivar has only one chance. So the second he clicks it, he's on a timer. If that fails, he doesn't get to fling anybody. Singed gets to walk up to them and decide when to fling on them. Like, yeah. And Udyr gets to spam that thing until he finally slaps somebody. So, on that, Singed and Udyr have the edge in ganking compared to Bully Bear. And sometimes that shit don't even work. I, there's been some times where I get to Vayne. I even see the animation, but she somehow tumbles forward and my whole thing doesn't even work. It's like, the fuck is this? The fear is clumsy, like at best press it you see them and then like either they go away from you so it's kind of like you didn't even fear them at all or you see them or they go next to you or they it doesn't even do anything i've seen it fizzle it's like bug or something okay his w yeah it does good damage if they're stupid enough to stand and fight you yeah they will unless you know you get yourself killed there's all like he's melee he's all melee sure he has ganking oriented crap so but it doesn't really f function as well as it should be. So, if in turn, I mean, I'm people are having to say, "Oh, Volley Bear is overpowered." Yeah, probably when he's in the lane. When he, when I played him in the jungle, he just felt bad, he felt weird and gimmicky and pretty weak. Like he was sustained thanks to his overpowered passive, but like he d he just felt bad. Like he, no damage, no nothing, just blah, crippled, pretty slow too. So. I don't know what to think of him.